Hello everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of Watts Collection. Uh, today what I want to do is talk about a single watch that is, to me, a very iconic watch. Uh, whatever that means. It's one that most people know about. I don't know how many people, you know, feel like, oh, that's something they got to get. But it's, it, to me, it's really interesting. Uh, this is the uh, the new uh, Tag Heuer Monaco with the, uh, it's a chronograph, nothing too unusual about that. Uh, this is a skeletonized version, and I'm not crazy about it, but that part is, is still interesting. Now, the one that, that I like and have always liked is the Tag Heuer Monaco Golf, okay? And it's, I don't know why I like it. I always have. There are a lot of different versions of it. Uh, the Gulf is Gulf Oil. And uh, the watch in the middle, you can see sort of at about between uh, 5 and 8 o'clock, there's a little Gulf Oil uh, symbol. But it's got a wonderful story behind it. And it's an interesting watch. So let's take a look at this. Um, in 2005, they sort of, they came up with uh, sort of the, the Monaco version. And the first version uh, that they had, the color scheme was based on Steve McQueen's uh, driving suit from the 1971 film uh, Le Mans. Okay. Now, the, the watch uh, originally came out, I think it was in 1969. So this is just a few years after the Monaco. Now, the Monaco was named for the the uh, Grand, well, I guess they're Grand Prix, or the, the races that they had in Monaco. Uh, the caliber, uh, the 2005 caliber was a Salida SW300-1. Before that, they would probably had ETA uh, movements in it. Now, in 2007, uh, they moved up the caliber 17, which is an ETA 2894, uh, which is a <clears throat> very, very nice uh, movement. The, uh, the color scheme, too, they had more of the Gulf oil colors and the stripes, the blue and the orange. And then uh, in 2022, they came up with the caliber uh, Hoyer 2, which is was sort of interesting because it was somewhat revised by Carol uh, Forcier uh, Kasapi. She was the watchmaker of the year, I think it was in 2012, for the Grand Prix d'Orlogi de Genève. And then uh, she had developed all of these movements for um, Cartier. And so she left Cartier and went to work for uh, Tag Heuer as the head of movement development. And uh, so anyway, so one of the, she she took a look at the Heuer 2. The Heuer 2, I think the Heuer 1 was the first in-house movement they made and had some problems with it. And the Heuer 2 was really, turned out it was done very, very well. And she took a look at that and made a few minor changes. Now there was a special code that Tag Heuer is using called the TH20 dash something or other. This one is dash zero zero. <clears throat> and uh, so this is sort of the latest Tag Heuer Monaco Golf that they have. But to me, there's, there's one, there was a special edition that they made that's even more interesting. And this was the left-handed Monaco. Now the reason they had the left-handed Monaco in the movie was Steve McQueen wearing a uh, wearing a Monaco, a Tag Heuer Monaco. He's left-handed. Now I'm left-handed too, but I still like my uh, watches on my left wrist. Uh, a lot of left-handers like it on on their right wrist. And uh, apparently Steve McQueen did. So they had to move the crown over to 9 o'clock. And <clears throat> they do have the left-handed Monaco. It's called the uh, Steve McQueen edition. And uh, Golf, you know, what is Golf Oil doing here? Well, Golf was one of the sponsors for the racers uh, during the Le Mans. So was Hoyer. Uh, I think, in fact, that was before Tag Hoyer. It was just called Hoyer. 
And so anyway, to me, it's, it's a fascinating story. I have no idea why I like that color scheme, but I do. Uh, is this a watch I'd run out and get? Probably not, but it would be fun to have anyway. Uh, I'm not into chronographs at all, uh, but this one would be this one would be tempting because it's so much fun. The new price uh, is seventy eight hundred dollars. Probably you can find one on the uh, pre owned market, and they have all different kinds of ones from the ones the uh, uh, the ones based on that uh, driver suit that uh, McQueen is wearing in that, in that uh, picture, uh, with the red and blue to the to the ones that are the Gulf oil colors. Anyway, thought you might be interested. Let me know what you think. Uh, this is an opportunity to subscribe if you like. And until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Inside, the art and science of watch collection. <music>